Multiplying numbers that end in zero can be easy once you know how. Let's look at a couple of examples and walk through the process step by step. We're going to focus on the non-zero numbers first, multiply them together, then we'll add the additional zeros at the end. Example 1, 6 times 200. This is an easy example to start with. Let's look at the numbers that are not zeros. If we were to multiply 6 times 2, we would get 12. There are two additional zeros on that number of 200. And if we add those zeros at the end of 12, we would get 1200. 6 times 200 is 1200. Example 2, 7 times 24,000. Let's look at the same logic for this example. If we can line up 7 under 24 and multiply together, 4 times 7 is 28, put down the 8, carry the 2, we need to multiply 7 times 2 and get 14. Then we add the 2 and get 16. After the 16, we can add 3 zeros. 7 times 24,000 is equal to 168,000. Example 3, 15 times 2,000. In this example, let's isolate 15 and 2 and multiply them together. Their product is 30. We can add the other three zeros after 30 and get an answer of 30,000. Example 4. What is 80 times 3,200? First, we multiply 8 times 32. We can set it up this way, and we multiply 2 times 8, which is 16. We put down the 6 and carry the 1. Next, we multiply 3 times 8 and get 24. Let's add the one we carried over, and we get 25. We have a total of three zeros in this problem, one coming from the 80 and two coming from 3,200. We take the product of 8 times 32, which is 256, and we add another three zeros. The final answer is 256,000. So you can see how easy it is to multiply numbers in and in zero when you break it down into two different steps. Multiply the non-zero numbers first, then add the total number of zeros at the end. For more math tips and tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. If the video helped you out at all, give it a thumbs up as it helps my video be seen by more people. Thanks again for watching.